Church, thank you so much for joining with us in the last eight weeks of our Spiritual Emphasis campaign. We have truly enjoyed reading through this book by John Ortberg together as a church. We have been very intentional on ensuring that our CLGs are enlivened. And to ensure that, we have not only been discussing the text in our sermons on Sundays, but we've also been having this text being discussed in our CLGs. Join us today as we get an overview of what the last eight weeks have been for us as a church. We have really grown as a CLG. And one of the things that has happened is that we have been able to complete almost every book that we have been studying. In this particular one, uh, it is said that uh, it is very practical in terms of uh, if you want to achieve anything, if you want to change yourself, you need to take that uh, step of faith. Uh, get out of the boat, go into what you want to do without any doubts and believe in God uh, that uh, once uh, you do that, he'll be able to guide you. I think this book is one of those books that uh, is, more, is much more practical than being a spiritual book. The, this cell group has been so impactful to us especially me and my family, uh, it has been able to, to transform my husband, to be able to be coming to church every Sunday, and also to be looking forward to be joining others in the discussion group over the CLG. For those of us who are not able to make it to church every Wednesday, we normally have hours online from 8 to 9 p.m. And that is something that uh, has continued to um, bring us together, um, the bond continues to grow stronger and stronger. The current book, which is stepping out of the boat, has had a very uh, positive impact on my life. And uh, I can actually confirm that uh, it has really touched me personally. And uh, I have decided to give my life to Jesus Christ, to be my personal savior, so that I may, even whenever I step out of the boat, I can fully rely on him because it's basically um, moving out of our comfort zones. Uh, the CLG has been, has been in operation from 2002, but I was able to join in 2013. And currently we are um, above 15 members. Uh, and we were, it made us to take an action of just ensuring that we stop taking in more members, even though we were getting requests from the church. So we thought about it, prayed about it, and uh, we talked to one of the leaders, Pastor Judy, who encouraged us to start a new CLG. So currently in, CL, in Gashia we have two CLGs, and we really thank God for this fact. The impact that uh, this book has had on me and uh, generally in my CLG, I have seen uh, my CLG members really uh, being open about, you know, the different uh, things that they've gone through when we're talking about failure, when you're talking about fears, when you're talking about uh, growth. When I joined the CLG, they were very welcoming. I felt that I was at home and uh, they, they, I, there was a family that I didn't know I needed. So once I joined, I found a family that is, we focus on the same thing, that is, in, uh, that is our walk with Christ. What the CLG has impacted in my life is my faith. I have really grown in faith. Uh, the struggles that I've been facing as a Christian, I've come to learn that I am not alone. I have people who can walk with me and they've hold me accountable also in the journey. My CLG is home. It is a home. It's also a place where I know that I am not going to be judged. It's a place where we value the word of God and we are holding each other and, you know, always referring to the Bible as our standard. We have also been keen to ensure that every member of our church gets to participate in the season, regardless of age, background or nationality. Hello, hello all. My name is Joseph. Wanjama, and that is my sign name, yeah. I am happy today in church because of whatever I have learned. What was the topic? Walking on water. And the lesson that I have learned is here. See, many disciples, including Peter, were inside the boat. Peter asked if he could walk on water. Jesus said, yes, you want to walk? You want to jump? Come. And Peter jumped 
and he walked. And time he saw the storms that were very strong, Peter shifted his attention and his faith was lost and his faith was weak his heart was weak and he was disappointed but Jesus said why have you lost your faith Peter said please help me and Jesus came and helped him and why do you have small faith to all of us that is what I have learned that is what I have learned. Thank you. We are happy to announce we've had such an influx in believers and congregants during this season. In the youth ministry, we have had at least 315 youth congregants in attendance, 42 visitors, and we have also gotten in-person feedback from the young adults of how the sermons have been ministering to them. And to this effect, we have had at least four new believers giving their lives to Christ. Here in the Adults Church, we've had at least 1,100 congregants every single Sunday in attendance and at least 100 visitors and 20 believers giving their lives to Christ. In Kisima Champions, we have seen a beautiful journey with our children. We have seen them get a deeper understanding on what journeying with faith entails and also an increase in numbers. Between August and September, we have seen our numbers increase from 700 to 800. And most importantly, our children have engaged deeply in prayer and service to others. We highly encourage parents to support our children, especially in the upcoming program of the VBS that will be happening in November. Remember, this spiritual emphasis campaign has been happening across most of our campuses, the Kembo Road campus, Foresight, Membley, and Kitale, just to mention but a few. As we put a pause on the spiritual emphasis campaign, this is a call to action to us all to continue reading the Word of God, to listen to our sermons, and to also continue practicing this in our lives and also discuss this in our CLGs. Thank you all.